about to spend 72 hours in Ireland. Three golf courses, one visit to the Irish Open at the K Club. First stop, breakfast. Can I take you over to the place? Can I get a sausage and a muffin meal, please? Cheers, Bob. Uh, no, that's fine with you. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. Thank you. And now it's time to board that ferry, jump on the Irish Sea, and get ourselves over to Dublin. Hi there. There you go. Sullivan. Okay, thank you, Cheers. Right, so that's it. We are uh, on the water. We've left Hollyhead and on our way to uh, Dublin Port. And then it's a quick trip. It's my first stop off. But well, it's literally the first time in I think about four years that I've been to Ireland. And it's one of my favorite places in the world, not just for golf, I just love the place. Right, okay, we're finally back on dry ground, but a little bit longer than expected, to be honest with you. There are now a delay on the ferry. So we're making our way to my first tea time. A little bit tight but I finally returned to some Lynx golf which I've been missing massively and I can't wait to get back on that surf. Right so quick check into the hotel here at Port Marnet Lynx and uh, bags dropped off, clubs I'm going to get from the car now and then we're going to jump on a buggy and get to the first tee and I'll be honest with you I just can't wait to see what is behind that camera. out of breath with excitement playing through those first five holes it's uh i've already said 10 years since i played here but more importantly just to get back on Lynx turf it is the major appeal to me in terms of the style of golf i just love it and over in ireland Lynx golf well it's just in abundance Apart from all the significant course changes since I was last here 10 years ago, there is one addition that I can't wait to try, and that's a new halfway house. And it'd be rude of me not to sample a Guinness. Come on, be right. Be right. Oh, I have no I have no idea if it's right, but oh my god, that was so enjoyable. Okay, so this morning I have gotten up uh, relatively early. You can see there's some amazing sunlight that is coming onto my face, but down this other way, I'm about to fly the drone and hopefully it looks incredible there's a low lying mist within the golf course and uh, certainly well worth getting out of bed for early and yesterday and then this morning i've kind of just realized what it is that really sort of motivates me in terms of creating content and uh, i've got to find some way of bringing this kind of thing back into my channel on a more regular basis because you know what I just love this I'm not so much an early riser 
but there's very few things that would get me up out of bed at such an early hour with such enthusiasm than uh, looking at a Lynx golf course that I am doing right now. So there's a little bit of drone and hopefully, fingers crossed, it looks as good as what uh, I think it does out there. I've just spent uh, quite a lot of time around here, but can anyone just take a glance back and tell me that's not incredible? Am I the only one that gets excited? I'm looking at things like that. That green, the green complex on, this is, um, this is nine. Stunning par three. When you're teeing from that side, you're looking at the green and then the ocean in the backdrop. It's just, oh my word. I've uh, just finished taking a load of photographs, which uh, I'll throw up on screen for you now and some sort of montage along the way and let me know what you think of them. For me, you walk on a golf course and you'll see some of the most incredible landscapes and potential for photography than, than anywhere. You don't need to climb up any mountain. And I just love this kind of thing, but I'd love to share more of it with you lot, but I'm not 100% sure everybody else wants to watch it in terms of video content, so you can let me know. The only negative of the day was I was in a bit of a rush this morning. I wanted to get the light and uh, I didn't change into my golf shoes. My trainers and socks are absolutely soaked through, but hopefully it was worth it. And do you know what? That's gotta be one of the most enjoyable mornings I've had on a golf course. I didn't even have any clubs with me. Right, so that's my time at Port Marnock finished. It's the next leg of the journey and we've got what is probably about an hour's drive. So at the moment we are very much uh, on the north side of Dublin and we're going to the south side and uh, I'm on my way to Druid's Glen, which believe it or not, was another course I played on that very same trip 10 years ago. And again, major change has gone on to Druid's Glen over the last couple of years. And uh, again, I can't wait to see what they've managed to do there. But Port Marnock links was was absolutely fantastic. Right, first thing to report about Druid's Glen is it was described to me as the Augusta of Europe and at this stage, just only four holes in, it's certainly living up to that kind of uh, reputation. Big white sandy bunkers, big greens and plenty of water. That's the update I've got for you so far.
Right, that's me done. Druid's Glen finished. I can honestly say I have never played golf in this kind of temperature in Ireland ever. I can't believe how warm it is, but back to the golf course. Enjoyable afternoon. Augusta of Europe, pretty apt. It's an immaculate condition. And uh, yet again, a absolute belter for day two in Ireland. Right, that's me finished at the Druid's Glen. A uh, quick breakfast. And now it is off to the Irish Open at the K Club. I'm looking for car park 2B. Okay, my pleasure. Vulture sign? All oh, right, we are on the right way. We're going to do a U-turn. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> which one after which car park is it, Trey? 2B. 2B, B, yeah. Yeah, great. It's our bud, thank, thank you. Thank you. 2B, 2B. You don't want a big number 2, on it? <laughs> It is, yeah. Thank you. What I like is no one has checked the ticket at all. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We're You're just, just taking your word for it. You could just be. be. Couldn't you? It's just a farm I'm making. Or oh, maybe. Oh, Maybe that. definitely. No, they're asking for the chair at the pass now. Yeah. We can, I'm sure we can end that now, can't we? Yeah. Hi, how's it going? I'm good. I just said no one's checked our ticket. We could have gone in for nothing here. Yeah. And there you go. <laughs> Stopped at the last minute. Yeah, follow those cars in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So we just arrived at the hospitality of the Irish Open and they've got, uh, we're in a place called The Terrace, which I'll show you where I'm looking out to, but basically it's overlooking the 18th green. This is uh, far beyond what I was expecting to come to. It looks incredible, so don't go anywhere and uh, I'll show you around my day. Right, so cars parked in, we made our walk into the K Club and um, it's not too far from Dublin actually, the K Club either. It's an incredible golf course and this week they're hosting the Irish Open, the Horizon Irish Open. And then uh, we've got a nice little uh, hospitality ticket overlooking what is the 18th green so it should be a really interesting day in the middle of my island trip. There's one on the day. That's not Guinness, it's a Murphy's. I can report that the Murphy is absolutely delightful and I promise there's some golf on the way very soon. This is game number 46. Right, so the day at the K-Club has finished and uh, drive back to our hotel, which I'll show you at some point later on. But uh, I popped out to the golf course that we play tomorrow to have a little bit of a look around. I've got a buggy and I'm about to go and see if I can collect some drone footage. It's seven o'clock in the evening, so not a lot of light left, but when I'm on a trip like this, I just can't get enough of anything. I just need to see as much as I can in the short space of time that I'm here. So uh, it looks like we'll be eating late and then getting up early again. Right, so I couldn't help but get the drone up, but it's way too dull this evening, unfortunately. Again, just a little bit late and I've lost the light. So what you're seeing right now is a little bit of a teaser uh, ready for tomorrow, but trust me, the forecast is ridiculously good for tomorrow morning. So hopefully I've got some real good footage, but I can't tell you how excited I am to play Powers Court Golf Club. I've not, um, I, I'll be honest with you, I'd not heard of the golf course before uh, this trip. And seriously, there's two courses. We're playing the East Course tomorrow morning. The landscape is just so, so nice. And I've just seen it, like I said, this evening for half an hour, but you just know straight away. That hole we sort of flew down was 17, but just wait till you see 16 tomorrow morning. Oh my God. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, I tell you. It is a, uh, another very early checkout, an early start. The hotel is super quiet because most sensible people are still in bed. Anyway, last night the uh, light wasn't great, so uh, we're off back to Powers Court. 
and uh, film a little bit of footage before we actually go and play the course um, later on this morning. I'm just hoping that that uh, sun comes out and we get some nice footage of the place. Right, it's going to be a long day this one. Right, so the truth is, started very early, sun didn't come up as I would hope. It is, as you can see now, very much up and in my eyes. And the one hole that I think I mentioned to you last night that I was really keen on getting was the 16th. And it looks absolutely stunning right now. I don't think there's a golf hole that I have stuck around and tried to photograph video as much as this little par, 350 yards Possibly the nicest par three I have certainly seen in the flesh. I'll play it in a few hours time. Right, that is all the early morning photography done. The sun is well and truly out now. I'm on the first tee in about 10 minutes time. So I've now got a camera woman that's got out of bed as well. Right, I said I was excited about playing this uh, golf course and I'm not disappointed. I said that we're only six holes in, but oh my God, what a layout this is. It's a Pete McAvoy design. Every tee shot you stand on, you're sort of asking yourself a little bit of a question in terms of where you want to land the ball or try to at least. There's big white sandy bunkers, lush fairways. Uh, it just looks superb. Undulation in the fairways, so much movement in the greens. It is so, so good. We've captured a fair bit of it, which hopefully you're enjoying now. I'm going to play my shot into this next, which I think actually is the seventh, and I'll give you a bit of a catch up later on. major update since that seven the hole basically very much more of the same it's been an incredible condition and greens are unreal in terms of both the quality of them and trying to read them is a job in itself but all i've wanted to do all round is to get to the 16th it's just 125 yards from where we're playing from and it is quite simply the hole on this golf course in my opinion i just hope i can get one on the green Oh, 
Oh my word, I don't know whether my audio would have broke up facing that way. What I said was going in all with the audio on. It's so nice to it. Because what happens is you get onto this hole and what I was dreading was, was making a complete pig's ear of it. So uh, it literally dropped right on top of the flag and uh, we've got a bit of a downhill for birdie, I think. I'm well, more than happy to uh, walk off with a three. I would have liked the birdie, but the greens are so slippery. And if you're the wrong side of the slope, or in that case I was, then uh, you're fearful of just racing it way past the hole so we've got a 3 16th what a golf hole that's me done and probably one of the most enjoyable 18 holes of golf i've had for quite some time and uh, every hole on this course was super super interesting i said already 16th is a highlight but 17 that follows it on again is an incredibly good golf hole as well unfortunately for us to film it it was pointing directly into the sun i'm afraid but super golf hole and uh, even if you look at the green behind me that's just an indication of just how these kind of swales and runoffs and just how clever the greens are designed just a super course altogether. and now what i'm going to get a quick shower we're gonna visit a stately home that's at the back. <laughs> 